don't know why, but this movie kind of reminded me of World War Z mixed with the game Dead Island. I was thinking that the entire movie, I mean, don't you guys see it? No? Forget it, I'm dumb. Okay, so no escape from this movie. So No Escape follows the story of American businessman Jack something, I forgot his last name, in which he grabs his family to move in a fourth world country in Asia for a business that he works for. They're having a fresh new start, you know, they think everything is fine and dandy since Pierce Brosnan's character is like, oh yeah, you're gonna love this place. Until the exact opposite of their expectations happen where they find themselves caught in a revolution and people are getting killed left and right. And now in a desperate attempt to save his family, Jack the businessman must do whatever he can to protect his loved ones and get them to safety. Pretty simple premise, pretty simple story. Usually stuff like that are the movies that end up being a good time. Usually, not all the time. And honestly, I didn't know what to expect when going into No Escape. And I felt like it was going to be one of those movies where it's like, oh yeah, it's getting a theatrical release because Owen Wilson, Pierce Brosnan, and Lake Bell is in there because if they weren't, straight to Blu-ray. Turns out this movie was just okay. I felt like No Escape is this year's World War Z, but slightly worse. Because you got Owen Wilson as Jack What's-His-Face, who plays a family man who moves from one place to another so his family could live the best possible life. It gave that character a bit of heart and when Owen Wilson shows that he's a father figure, you can buy the fact that he is indeed a father figure. Lake Bell was the mom slash wife in the movie and she was basically the same as Owen Wilson but she was the mother. But their chemistry as a couple was believable in a sense on how they communicate and how they throw their jokes back and forth and especially showcasing fear when the rebellion happens. These two displayed fear so well in the movie where they weren't overacting, it was just at the right spot where it was believable. What's not believable is their kids because you know, kid actors being kid actors and they got a bit annoying. Kind of made me wish the kids weren't in the movie at all, but you know, Owen Wilson's motivation for survival and I get that. But the one who stole the show was Pierce Brosnan's character because every time he was on screen, I did not want those moments to end. Not only did his character have good comedic timing with everything being said, but he was an extreme badass that helped Owen Wilson's family survival. Plus he had an interesting backstory as well. When he's talking to Owen Wilson about his life story, I'm like, I want to know more about you, dude. Also gave his character a lot more heart than Owen Wilson's character. Just overall, he was a very well-written character character. But that's as far as I'll go in praising the movie since everything else in it being an intense action suspense thriller, it absolutely misses the mark. Because as the family journeys through this rebellious fourth world country, there are only a couple moments where you feel this family was in real and present danger. It's like whenever they get into a serious situation, you know they're gonna get out of it because it's only like 30 minutes into the movie. Ends up being super predictable to a degree and that's not good when you're trying to make a suspense thriller. As far as the action's concerned, it is some of the worst action I have seen all year. It was terrible. Since Owen Wilson does a lot of running in the movie, the camera follows them all shaky camera and it gave me a massive headache. Whether you like that or not, that's fine, but when you're sitting in front of a big ass screen, it does some stuff to you. And I thought Taken 3's action was directed horribly. Actually, I think this might be the new Taken 3. Mixed with Dead Island and World War Z and Owen Wilson just isn't as cool as Liam Neeson and there's no zombies in it, so... Yeah, I know, that's kind of a stupid summary of the movie. Because in the end, No Escape had some good characters, Pierce Brosnan stole the entire show. It does get predictable at times, but it has some of the worst action I have seen all year. And it's just another movie to fill up the closing of the summer, because I say if you want to see No Escape, wait till it gets the red box release at best. Thank you, Pierce Brosnan, for bringing in your 007. You brought up a couple points for the movie, and I knew you had it in you. Now let's say you decide to see this movie on the big screen, which I absolutely do not recommend. See it for Pierce Brosnan, nothing else. So. Have you seen No Escape and what did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below. And as always, there's a link for my Twitter and my Facebook below as well. Keep in contact with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But in the meantime, I have to get going because there's a lot more guys out there that are just screwing my shit up. And the dogs are barking. Yeah, so I gotta go.